placed on hold until the next caller arrives. Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Infusionsoft Sync for Gmail. Infusionsoft Sync for Gmail is an app that syncs, as the name would suggest, your Infusionsoft application with your Gmail account, and this is done using um, this third-party application that Infusionsoft has made available to Infusionsoft users for free in the Infusionsoft Marketplace. If you haven't been to the Marketplace yet, you're going to want to go ahead and visit that at marketplace.infusionsoft.com. The Marketplace is a spot where you can find Infusionsoft Certified Consultants, Infusionsoft Certified Developers, and also um, applications, third-party apps that can enhance your software. And also, um, there are some free campaigns that you can go ahead and download right into your application from, uh, from the Marketplace. So I've jumped ahead here and gone right into the app, but if you just type in marketplace.infusionsoft.com, you will land on the home page. And when we hover on the apps, for right now, this brand new app, Infusionsoft Sync for Gmail, is uh, one of the featured apps, so it's right here. Otherwise, you could click on apps and you could find it uh, in the list of apps. But we're going to go ahead and click on this. A couple of things that I want to point out. First of all, you land on the page for this particular application, and you'll have the title up here, and there's a description, there are features, and there will eventually be reviews. I don't think there's any in there yet. This just, oh, there are some already. This morning there weren't any. This just launched today. So you can go ahead and just kind of understand what this is all about. There are some images here that kind of explain this one right here, for example. This shows this is a Gmail account, so here's the inbox. And what ends up happening ultimately, once you've downloaded the app into your system, is you get a, a toolbar over on the right, and any time an email address in your inbox um, is also an email address that's in the contact records in Infusionsoft, that contact record will go ahead and pop up here. And so this inbox is, um, this email, involves this Sarah Jane Isom, and so that particular contact record populates. Uh, furthermore, if you receive an email and the person is, or the email address is not in your Infusionsoft application, you, you get a version of this toolbar where you can go ahead and add them to the contact records in Infusionsoft right here from out in Gmail. So further, so we can sync our emails, we can also sync appointments, so the calendars um, have some syncing capabilities, and uh, there's some other things that we can see and do from right out here in Gmail that will go ahead and impact our Infusionsoft application. So this is a pretty powerful app, and I can't remember if I said, but it is free. So something that I'd like to mention is that when you go ahead and click Get the App, it's going to read what browser you're currently in. So right now, I'm in Firefox. So if I were to click on Get the App, I can go ahead and click on it. It is recognizing that I am in Firefox, and it returns the installation instructions for Firefox. So that's nice and handy. And it's three easy steps to install this application in your Firefox browser, and I've actually gone ahead and installed it in my Firefox already, and I can, um, I can vouch for the fact that it is nothing more than these three steps. So once you get this far, just take a peek at these three uh, directions. It's really just about clicking Install Now and clicking OK a few times, and you've done the basics to get this app installed into your Firefox browser. Now I keep uh, saying Firefox browser, Firefox browser, Firefox browser, because what I discovered as I was playing with this today is that um, you also have to download it. If you're going to use, uh, if you also use Chrome in addition to, to Firefox, you're going to also need to download the app um, into your, using your Chrome browser. So this is all Firefox, but if I were to, oops, if I were to go ahead and open up Chrome, and again, I've already done it over here, but um, it's right here. Okay. So, again, 
it's the exact same page, but when I click Get the App, it recognizes that I'm now in the Chrome browser, and you will see it says Installation Instructions for Google Chrome. I've also, like I said, installed it into my, my uh, Chrome browser, and again, it's three steps. These uh, steps are absolutely what you need to do to get it done. You know how sometimes you get directions and then they don't, they don't quite match up. These directions absolutely match up and it will get it done for you. I will say there's a little more clicking that needs to happen um, when you're installing this for your Chrome browser than when you're installing it for your Firefox browser. But all in all, it's very easy to do. Again, you, um, you click Install Now. That's really the number one. And then number two, it, it, it has you um, take the file that you've downloaded and pull it uh, into the extension spot in Chrome, and it shows you exactly where that is. So um, just three steps. They're step-by-step, step and they are um, they're accurate. So that's good news, right? So anyways, that was one nuance that I wanted to mention. That's why I wanted to create a video because I, um, I had to ask around as to why when I would open up my Gmail in Chrome, I wasn't seeing my toolbar on the right side. And that's when I learned that I had to download the app um, using my Firefox browser and also using my Chrome if, in fact, I wanted to use it in both. I also learned that I had to do this download process on um, both computers that I use in my office. So I started out on my desktop today, and then I came over to my laptop, and I found that when I would open Gmail, it wasn't there. And I did have to download this also um, in my browsers on my laptop. So where I was getting confused was Gmail is web-based. So I just figured wherever I would log into Gmail, my toolbar would show up on the right, and that's not the case. I learned this is a, a browser application, so that's why you have to do it like I'm describing. So I just wanted to mention that. Now I'd like to show you kind of what this looks like all set up. Let's head into Gmail. So I just downloaded this for Chrome right before I started this video. So this is a great example of what you're going to see as soon as immediately upon downloading this app. It doesn't matter if you've downloaded it for Firefox or you've downloaded it for Chrome. This is how the right toolbar looks initially. You have to enter your Infusionsoft ID and you have to enter your password. I check boxed remember, remember me because I don't want to be logging in all the time. Um, so this brings up another point that you need to, first of all, have access to an Infusionsoft application. Like you have to be a user in Infusionsoft. Um, it's great that this uh, that this application is free, but it's only going to um, it's only going to be helpful for you if you um, are a user in an Infusionsoft application. And secondly, you need to have your Infusionsoft ID set up. Currently, when I'm when I'm making this video right now, you, you may or may not have your Infusionsoft ID set up. We're still a couple of weeks away from it being absolutely required. And so um, if you haven't done that yet, you either need to create your Infusionsoft ID and then proceed with getting Infusionsoft Sync for, Sync for G Gmail set up, or you're going to need to wait until you get your Infusionsoft ID set up. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. So this is exactly what I use to log in. I've been logging into my Infusionsoft application because that's really what I'm doing right now. And this is what happens. So um, it seems to be remembering the, the last person in my inbox today that is also in my Infusionsoft application. So that's why it's pulling up Cheryl. I emailed with her a little bit earlier today. So I can do a search of anybody in the system right here. Remember, I'm in, I'm searching Infusionsoft over here. I'm not searching my Gmail. So this is Laura. The reason I'm bringing up Laura is I did some testing before I decided I was going to create a video and I used her record for some of the testing. So um, that's why I've brought hers up. Now, 
one thing you have to do, so the first thing you do is you log in, and then it's exciting, and you kind of get acquainted with what, what's over here. And the next thing you have to do is this drop-down menu right here has settings in it, my settings. It's a little bit, it, it's easy to, I think it's easy to overlook because it's exactly the same symbol as the Gmail settings bar. But this is actually a different one, and it's tied to this application that you've just downloaded. So when you click on my settings, that particular one, you get the settings for Infusionsoft Sync for, Sync for Gmail. And a couple of things that you want to deal with immediately is you want to sync your email. So my Gmail um, email address is maze.jessica at gmail.com. I went ahead and um, I had to enter my Gmail information, the email address and the password for Gmail, and it went ahead and you know verified that that was correct. And now my Infusionsoft um, application and my Gmail email is syncing, and I'll show you what that means in just a minute. The other thing that you're going to want to uh, consider doing is syncing your calendar. So it went ahead and it just found my calendar by virtue of being um, logged into to Gmail. And so um, what I did have to do is I did have to change my time zone because it defaulted to the Eastern time zone and I happen to be in Central. And as you can see here, there are some things you can click if you're not syncing exactly what you wanted to sync. But my guess is you probably have a, a fairly straightforward setup with your calendar and it's going to sync uh, correctly from, from the beginning. Your, all this stuff is important, but those are the two things that you really want to um, focus on right away so that you can start seeing this in action. Certainly you can configure your sidebar however you want. You can decide if you want tasks and appointments to show or not notes and completed tasks to show or not, follow-up sequences, tags, opportunities, and so forth. And what that really is, is it's these areas right over here. I know it's kind of grayed out right now, but pending tasks and appointments, look over here in the green, pending tasks and appointments on down the line. So you're, you're deciding what you want to, to see over here, okay? So once you have that configured, a couple of things. You're going to find that, I'm going to click on Calendar, you will know that your calendar is synced. Number one, it will tell you in that pop-up box that it is synced. But number two, you're going to get a new calendar added over in your Gmail calendars. So when I open up my calendar, see how it says Infusionsoft Calendar? That appeared once this application was synced with my Gmail account. So prior to today, I did not have that calendar. And so I did some testing today and you'll see that there is a um, there's a blue appointment on here. That blue appointment I actually created over here. So I was in Lara's record, but I wasn't really in. I was I'm in Infusionsoft, but I'm not really in Infusionsoft. You know what I mean? I'm still in Gmail from here, and I decided that I wanted to create a new appointment, which I can do from right here. And I'm going to say test two. And I'm going to say sync test two. And I'm going to make it for a different date. I'm going to make it earlier in the day. I'm too lazy to scroll down that far on my calendar. It'll work. Okay. And these are just the things you would be filling out if you were in the application setting up an appointment that would then show up in the contact record. We're going to have a call and I'm going to save this. Now watch what happens. There is that appointment that I just set up over here. It's now showing up in my Gmail calendar. Furthermore, if I head over into Infusionsoft, which I've got that open over here, and actually if I, I have my appointments right here on my dashboard, so if I refresh this, and I take a peek at Wednesday, there it is. Right here, 8 to 10 a.m., test 2, that is what we created just now over here. So it went from here to here, and it went into Infusionsoft. So that's a pretty quick sync. 
So the other thing that I want to show you, um, remember I told you to sync your calendar right away and also sync your email right away. I went ahead and did some testing on that as well. So what I did was I went ahead and composed an email again to Lara. I'm not going to do it again because these emails literally go to her, these demos that I've been doing. But I went ahead and, and created an email and I sent it off to her and I did it from Gmail. And then I came into my Infusionsoft application and I brought up her contact record. And if I click on emails, there it is right there. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Ooh, I can, yay. Okay. See, it says testing the new IS app. That's an, that's an email that I sent to her earlier today out of Gmail. So um, it's in my Gmail outbox. Infusionsoft recognized that and went ahead and, and did a sync right into that particular contact record. It was reading the email address and it put that information in there. So I now have an email history, um, but I'm not actually emailing outside, out of my app um, for some of that email history. So that's really, really slick. I've used applications before that you have to you know, hit a button or you, or you make the decision on what you want to go into the history and what you don't. This particular piece of software is automatically looking for um, received and sent messages and it's going ahead and, and pushing that in there for you. So you can then play around with all the other you know, things that you can do over here. Um, this particular person has 24 tags on the record. I can add tags, I can modify tags, I can delete tags from here. Um, I also noticed when I was playing around with this today, we can create new tags for Infusionsoft from out here, so that's pretty cool. And the other thing is that if we come across, oh perfect, it did it. Okay, so I just, um, I just highlighted in my inbox an email address that that particular email address is not in my contact record, so it's copy blogger. So, what ends up happening is a kind of a, a blank box. It auto-populates what it thinks it's, is the first name, and it auto-populates the email address. But I can go ahead and create a brand new record by just clicking Add Contact. Once I've hit Add Contact, that's when I get something more robust like we've got here. So I could add tags and, and create appointments and, and write notes and all those sorts of things. So this is really, really a big deal that this is now available to us. Um, it's super easy to use. It is um, really, really handy. And I think it's one of those things where you just kind of have to get used to it. You know what I mean? So just start out by installing it. Install it wherever you feel you're going to need it. So in review, install it in... Um, Install it in any browser that you, you want to use, and I, the sky's not the limit there. It's either um, Firefox or Chrome, and you can certainly download both. Install it on the computers that you want to uh, typically access it. So for me, it was my desktop as well as my laptop. And make sure the first thing you do is sync what you want to sync. So um, that would probably be your email, so your Gmail with your Infusionsoft app, and your Google count your Gmail calendar with your Infusionsoft calendar. And then you can start getting a feel for um, how you want to use the tool and, and, and to what level and, and how you can get really creative and efficient and um, do all sorts of things now that you've got this sync um, where you can do a lot of in, a lot of Infusionsoft application work actually outside of the application. So this has been a tutorial on how to set up Infusionsoft Sync for Gmail. Enjoy!